this logo here is not what it appears. What you see here is how I, through the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord, see the 2012 Olympic logo. This is how you see the 2012 logo. Now look at that. Now that's on the internet, you know. So um, I haven't used their image because as I understand it, they're screaming black and blue murder anytime anyone uses this image. And it's hardly surprising um, that they're uh, complaining about it because, you see, this logo here is not what it appears. It's what's called shape shifting, but people misunderstand it and think that it's something to do with um, reptilian aliens being able to change their form. But what it is, it's actually just um, taking geometric shapes and shifting them around. Um, and in this case, the 2012 logo, if you shift um, the, the letters around, it spells Zion. Now we've just found the reason why the Gregorian calendar changed the dates. So 2012, I believe, is actually 1999 and seven months. Whichever day you see these so-called aliens come back to this earth, that will be the seventh month. That will be 1999 because the Gregorian calendar has shifted everything around. Now let's take a very, very closer look at um, this 2012 logo and just see just how sinister it really is. Now in order to break the cryptography of the um, Olympic uh, logo, the 2012 Olympic logo, what you need to do is uh, take a, a, a picture of it like this one here. Make three copies as shown here. All right, now once you've got those four pictures, what you do is you put them um, into uh, your Windows Movie Maker. Now make sure that your pictures are all centralized properly and blend picture one and two together and you will get this picture here. Next blend picture three and four together and you will get this picture here. Make a snapshot of each and then blend the two snapshots together and this will be the result. Now for those of you who don't have 3D glasses handy, I'll just run this through a red filter just to give you an idea of what is hidden inside this three-dimensional cryptography inside the 2012 Olympic logo. Now you should be able to see an iron cross design in the middle, but that's just scratching the surface. So I'm going to switch back to the normal view and outline the hidden cryptography for you piece by piece and you can check this yourselves later when you get some 3D glasses or make a pair out of um, red and green cellophane just place it over uh, each other and look at it through your right eye and you will have the 3D effect. First we have an X on the outside representing planet X Nibiru the planet of the crossing. Then we have a square in the center and an iron cross just like the Nazis iron cross. Then we have an X in the center which along with the square box represents a two dimensional bird's eye view of a Mayan pyramid. The small X in the center then extends into a larger X with four inward facing uh, triangular shapes. This then also represents four torches. From a three dimensional bird's eye view perspective these torches would be facing towards you. However, from the perspective of a three-dimensional geometric drawing, they are depicted as being folded outwards. Notice that there are four sets of Olympic rings emanating from the four torches representing the flames of the Olympic torch. These four torches also represent flying saucer landing pad pillars. In other words, pillars of fire. Now look closely at the Olympic rings and you will notice that they all overlap one another, forming lenticular shapes. A lenticular shape is a lens, an eye. So the well-known overlapping five ring Olympic logo represents an array of eyes. There are also four royal crown shapes hidden here and also four mace heads hidden here. The next hidden shape is an octagon. This is now followed by a large horizontal lenticular shape forming a complete eye. And finally a vertical lenticular shape forming yet one more all-seeing eye. Now before I show you exactly what this means and just how sinister it is and what implications it has for mankind, 
I'm just going to show you some ev evidence to prove that this is not a fluke. This is an 1887 Queen Victoria flooring. The design in the center of this coin fits perfectly into the cryptic three-dimensional Olympic logo. Next, this Elizabethan coins design also fits perfectly into the three-dimensional cryptic design of the Olympic logo. And of course the designs of both of these coins perfectly overlap one another and also fit perfectly into the three-dimensional cryptography of the 2012 Olympic logo. There are also four strange faces hidden in this cryptography here. So we'll just move in and make a comparison with the so-called Anunnaki statue. Now we will move on and break the rest of the cryptography which reaches a terrifying climax. This three-dimensional 2012 cryptography also perfectly conforms with this Babylonian Sumerian symbol of Nibiru, the planet of the crossing. The giant to the right hand side of this um, carving is called uh, an Anunnaki but that cannot possibly be so because he is a giant therefore he is a Nephilim and the Holy Bible tells us that the fallen angels came and had sex with the human women and they gave birth to giants, not had sex with giants. So this is not an Anunnaki, he is a Nephilim. The name of this Nephilim giant is Dagon, the so-called fish god. Dagon was also the king of the Philistines. This amazing design can be perceived and viewed from both a convex and concave perspective. The multiple geometric drawings hidden within the 2012 three-dimensional logo can also be viewed in two-dimensional form. The most misunderstood aspect of this form of geometry is that which is known as folding space, which some people use to confuse the layman into thinking that it's something to do with folding outer space, when in fact it's to do with folding geometric shapes within a certain space that resides within the context of the drawing itself. If you were to look at this pattern without knowing what it actually depicted, it would just seem to be a fancy geometric set of patterns. However, when you view this pattern from a perspective of understanding, it becomes clear that it is in fact a bird's eye view of a UFO taking off from a pyramid. The mark of the beast. So far we have definitive evidence linking Nephilim giants, Great Britain, the planet Nibiru and the 2012 Olympics. And those of you who have watched the rest of our series Nibiru Palace also know that this conforms perfectly with the Egyptian pyramids and UFO flying saucer evidence which is found all over the world. Now due to the gravity of this ever increasing evidence the question that everyone needs to ask is is was this logo design purely a fluke or is this part of a real end time Nephilim conspiracy as spoken of in the book of Revelation because if it is say goodbye to your alien nation say goodbye to your alien nation say hello and nothing that they shine Babylon's all